Okay, and on to skill number five, which is about brackets and thirds. So really it's just more multiplication, but it's just worth reminding us about how we do expanding brackets with either single brackets and with double brackets as well. So I've said, just like expanding brackets with algebra, we can also expand brackets with thirds. And I'm gonna do three examples here, and then you can have a go at these four questions and I'll go through them in just a second. So just like with algebra, you would take the number that's outside the front, the factor, and you'd multiply it by both things that are inside the bracket here. So you're gonna have root three multiplied by two, and you would write that as two root three. And then your second part is going to be the square root of three multiplied by the square root of three. But hopefully you've started to recognize that the square root of three times the square root of three is just going to be three. Now it's worth noting these can't be added or simplified together because this one is two lots of root three and this one is just an integer. So when we do these double brackets, you may have different methods. You might do FOIL, you might do the grid method, whatever it is that you like to do. Um, you're just going to apply that here. So I probably am going to do the FOIL method. So I'm going to do the, the root five times the root five, which is five, and the root five times the, min times the minus three, which is minus three root five. Then I'm going to do the 2 times the root 5, which is plus 2 root 5, and the 2 times the minus 3, which is minus 6. So what we need to do now is just make sure that we are collecting the like terms together. So we have a 5 subtract 6, which is minus 1, and then minus 3 root 5 plus 2 root 5. So we've got minus 3 lots of it plus 2. That is going to be minus root 5. And you can just leave it like that with both of those negatives there. And just to show you this working on the calculator, if I did in my um, calculator, the square root of five plus two brackets, the square root of five minus three brackets, you do get minus root five minus one. And it doesn't matter which way you've got it. So the calculator has it in the other way around to mine, but it's still the same answer. Now, this one, you're going to go straight in with multiplying, or if you wanted to, you could simplify the square root of 8, first of all, to a 2 root 2. It's up to you which you prefer to do. I'm probably just going to go straight in with multiplying them and see what happens. So I'll do the root 8 times root 2. Well, that's going to be root 16. I could simplify that straight away if I wanted to. I've got the root 8 times the 5, which is plus 5 root 8. Then I've got the 2 times the root 2, and then I've got the two times the five, which is 10. Now there's definitely gonna be some simplifying that needs to happen here, which is why it could have been advantageous to write that as two root two to begin with. But the root 16 is four. Now eight is two root two. So that's five multiplied by two root two plus two root two plus 10. So the four and the 10 is going to be 14. And then I've got here five times two, 10 root two, plus two root two is 12 root two. Now, if you did change it to two root two to begin with, you'd get something that's a little bit different like this. If I just really quickly show you, and you can decide whether you might like to simplify first, the two root two times the root two, well, that's two times root two times root two. So that's two times two or four. You can, these immediately is gonna give you the 10 root two, the two root two, and the 10 from the last part that you have there. So it just saves you doing the simplifying in this stage if you just do it all at the beginning. It's up to you which you prefer. So you have got here four questions to have a go at. I've got one where there's just a root outside the front, two sets with double brackets. This one's quite special. You might think about what this one is called before you start the question. And then one down here where you might like to do some simplifying first and it's also being squared. So you want to make sure that you are doing double brackets for that one that we have. Okay, pause the video and have a go. So this first one that we've got, root two times eight, we would write that as eight root two, and then the root two times root two, that's just going to be minus two. So we're just gonna leave it written in that form there. Now this one, if you've thought about this one, this is the difference of two squares, which sometimes I write as the difference of two squares dots. That's where you have something with double brackets where you have a plus in between the first one and a minus in between the second one and it's the same value. So you have a root seven and a root seven and a one and a one. So when I do the root seven times the root seven, obviously get seven. The root seven times the minus one is minus root seven. You get the one times the root seven, which is plus root seven. And then you get the one times the minus one, which is minus one. Now, if you notice what's happened here, you have a plus root seven and a minus root seven, which cancel out, which is how difference of two squares works. If you remember, you have like a plus b, a minus b, you just get a squared minus b squared. 
And that's exactly what's happened here. You've got the root 7 squared minus the second part squared. And 7 minus 1 is just 6. So this rather complicated thing that we have here just simplifies down to 6. Okay, this one I'm going to go straight in. So I've got the 4 times the root 2 is 4 root 2. The root 2 times the root 2 is 2. The 3 times the 4 is 12. And the 3 times the root 2 is 3 root 2. So for the root 2s, I have 7 root 2. And for the numbers, I have 3. Of course, you could have written that as 3 plus 7 root 2. Kind of, there's no real preference. You'll see them written in lots of different ways. Sometimes I'd say this is more common to start with the integer and then the root. But there's not really a, a decided way of this as far as I know. Okay, this one, you might find it helpful to rewrite this as root 12 root 3 and then root 12 and a root 3 as double brackets. And you might even prefer to rewrite the root 12 in a different way. So if you want to, you could change the 12 to a 2 root 3. So it's 2 root 3 plus root 3 and 2 root 3 plus root 3. Ah, that is going to make this super easy. I'm going to do this super easy one first and show you how it would still work out as the same one. Now, 2 root 3 plus root 3 is 3 root 3. So that's a 3 root 3 multiplied by a 3 root 3. So the 3 times the 3 is 9, and the root 3 times the root 3 is a 3. So it's a 9 times a 3, which is 27. So the answer is 27. Let's see if we get the same thing from doing this calculation. So we get the root 12 times the root 12, which is 12. The root 12 times the root 3, which is root 36. The root 12 times the root 3, which is root 36. And the root 3 times the root 3, which is 3. So we have 12 plus 6 plus 6 plus 3, which is also equal to 27. So I think this is a good reason to do some simplifying first rather than just plowing straight on. I actually quite like doing the simplifying first like I did in question D and also in this version down here. I tend to prefer that. So I would always seek to look out, can I simplify anything inside the brackets first? It can often make things simpler. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to be looking at something called rationalizing the denominator. Found this video helpful? Then why not drop it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like the next video in the playlist, you can click here to be taken straight to it. And as always, wishing you the very best for all your studies.